Hello and good day. My name is Michael DiNardo, and I'm an undergraduate student at the University of Guelph. Today I will be discussing how to diagnose stem and bulb nematodes in garlic. Nematodes are microscopic worms that irritate farmers and gardeners all over the world. It is recognized as a Didylientius dipsaceae and can cause up to 90% yield loss in the leaf crops. It is a eukaryote and is part of the Metazoa kingdom. Nematodes can only be seen under a microscope and can be identified by their stylet. This stylet helps them puncture the tissue of the plant, which damages the crop. This also causes the host plant to be more susceptible to other pathogens. The life cycle takes anywhere from 19 to 25 days depending on the temperature. It has been recorded in cold conditions to have taken over 50 days. In this time, the nematodes only become infectious only after their first molt when they are in their serpent form. During their lives, female nematodes can lay anywhere between 200 and 500 eggs. They can survive in soil up to two years and can also survive over 20 years in plant tissue such as seeds. D. dipsaceae has a range over 500 different plant hosts, but only 30 different biological races. The onion race is the only known race to establish on garlic. Didylientius dipsaceae occurs locally in most temperate areas of the world, but it does not seem to be able to establish itself in tropical regions, except at higher altitudes that have a temperate climate. The temperate zone is in the range of 23.5 and 66.5 north and south on the latitudinal plane. D. dipsaceae prefers cool, moist climates, and populations are usually the greatest in Ontario in the spring and fall months. The maximum activity and invasive ability of D. dipsaceae is generally between 10 and 20 degrees Celsius. It was said a long time ago that the European settlers traveled to North America in the 1500s for economic and religious reasons. One of the earliest explorers from Italy named Giovanni Cavolto, an Italian navigator from Venice, traveled to Canada in 1847, explored, and claimed the coast of Newfoundland for Britain. During this time, Europe was able to establish a network in North America, which led to the European settlers traveling with their herbs and spices and trading with the native communities. This was a great way to network and spread certain crops, but also a great way to spread plant pathogens and diseases. The geographical range consists of Asia, Caribbean, Africa, Oceania, North and South America, Europe, Mediterranean, and Australia. D. dipsaceae started being studied in the 1850s in Europe. This is where there is the most significant damage done to crops. It is listed as a quarantine pest by the EPPO. The EPPO is a governmental organization that is responsible for the protection of plants within the European region and the Mediterranean region. Some simple tips for scouting for nematodes is looking for areas with stunted growth and early yellowing of the leaves. Signs consist of tiny pimple-like spots on the clove which can be identified after the garlic has been peeled. Bulbs tend to be lighter in weight and easier to open. Chemical control. Fumigates are a way of controlling nematodes but are costly and extremely toxic. In 2010, the EU banned methyl bromide from being used for nematodes. New methods are being practiced and one method consists of treating the garlic cloves in a fumigation chamber. The fumigation chamber is where hydrogen cyanide is being pumped in at 20 grams per meter cubed for 30 hours. Also, nematicides can be used to help destroy the nematode population. Cultural control methods. One good method to ensure clean seed is by using a hot water treatment. This consists of dipping garlic cloves in a hot water bath at 49 degrees Celsius for 20 minutes. Be careful because garlic tissue breaks down at 50 degrees Celsius. Other cultural methods consist of rotating the crops and planting cover crops as green manure. Certain green manure crops will break down into isothiocyanates and nitriles that are toxic to nematodes, which is similar to the chemical fumigant metamsodium. Weed control is essential for crop establishment. One good crop that competes well with weeds is mustard. Solarization can be used, but does not completely control the population because it is not lethal at depths greater than 30 centimeters. Flooding is another option, but consider flooding for seven to nine months, which kills nematodes by making the soil anaerobic, depleting the soil of its oxygen. By doing this, you are suffocating the nematodes and increasing the concentration of natural occurring organic acids, methane and hydrogen sulfides. Heated safety has been reported to cause up to 90% yield loss. Canada is trying to implement new methods to help control the spread of D. dipsaceae. They are exploring gene sequencing to create resistant crops. There are certain resistant crops for nematodes, but none for garlic. Thank you. I hope you all had fun on my adventure in diagnosing stem and bulb nematodes.